Yeah, my wonderful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day. TGIF. Thank God. It's Friday. Anyway, we are done to arrive here with another Obunga News coming from the platform of uh, Biafra Express. And uh, the title of this uh, news is uh, The Heart of Biafra. United for Justice and Independence. That is what it's been titled. And uh, I can assure you that uh, you will never regret the data you wasted on watching this very particular video because a lot of things are being said in it. And uh, I saw it and I said I can't listen to this alone. I need to carry uh, my audience along. Uh, hey, not every time, not only me, be shouting, shouting, shouting. At least make us also hear what I have been clamoring uh, on my platform all these uh, years long that other people have already joined the race. And you that is listening to me, which way are you contributing to the struggle of this Biafran? Are you doing your own online or offline? My dear, you have to start doing something. All hands must be on deck to make sure that we achieve our aim in this year 2024. So, whichever way you take Siabo, uh, I would like you to just listen to it as you hear from the horse's mouth, the whole lines one after the other. Um, we are going to come back to dissect it and also read the comments that follow it um i also want to use this opportunity to tell the admin or the the robot or abi the bot and also uh, youtube in general that i have no right to the copyright of whatever music that have been played on the background of this video so let me just make this clear so that tomorrow you will not come out and tell me that i have copied someone's uh, 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 music i am not in the uh, in the business of copying or having a copyright so I'm just doing it to make sure that everybody is being carried along because the the job and the duty of every Biafran is to make sure that whatever news you saw on any platform that regarding Biafra struggle, share it. I, if you can, if you can uh, uh, record it, record it and uh, broadcast it to your audience. All the very very important. That is what we are doing here, and that is uh, our mission. You know, we are all uh, missionary journeys. <laughs> so, Abego, make on a listen to this, our uh, brother, who is giving us the news the way it's supposed to be. My name is Siriman Amande Anna Eze, and you are hearing from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. And, uh, <laughs> in fact, I don't want to talk much. Oh, yeah, let's go there. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. Oh, yeah, editor, Mwa. play the music. <laughs> Sorry, play the news. <laughs> Ah, this life no balance you. Biafra, a call for justice and independence. Good evening, beloved Biafrans. Tonight, we gather not only as a community, but as a family, united in our pain and our dreams for a brighter future. The journey we have embarked upon is fraught with trials and tribulations, yet our spirit remains unbroken. We stand together shoulder to shoulder as we fight for our rights and the dignity of our people. As we delve into the heartbreaking reality that our people face, we must remember the words of our Minister of Finance, Ogachuk Wooden Kerry, who recently met with Congressman John Carter of Texas. Minister N. Kerry stated, I provided a briefing on Nigeria's terrorism epidemic and the systemic killing of Biafrans and Christians. This statement resonates deeply as it captures the horrific reality of our daily lives, lives marked by fear, uncertainty, and loss. A nation in pain. Day after day, we witness the relentless violence that has become a hallmark of our existence. Our brothers and sisters are subjected to unimaginable horrors, kidnappings, brutal assaults, and even murder. The anguished cries of our people echo through the streets of our homeland, and it is our duty to amplify those voices. Just recently, bandits kidnapped two nurses and several patients from a healthcare center in Kaduna State, illustrating the Nigerian government's utter failure to provide safety and security for its citizens. Dr. Ngozi Orabuezi, Chief of Staff of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile, condemned this negligence, stating, the Nigerian government can no longer guarantee the life and safety of sick indigenes inside Nigeria hospitals. This stark reality 
is a painful reminder of our vulnerability in the face of systemic neglect. A cry for freedom. In the face of this chaos and suffering, the Biafran self-referendum has emerged as a beacon of hope. Prime Minister Simon Ekpa proudly announced over 50 million Biafrans voted in the self-referendum, surpassing the number of voters in the 2023 Nigerian presidential election. This historic turnout is not merely a statistic, it represents the indomitable will of a people yearning for their rightful place in the world. Every vote cast in this referendum signifies a rejection of oppression and a powerful affirmation of our identity as Bia Franz. As Prime Minister Ekpa articulated, Bia Franz are doing the right thing by participating in this self-referendum, which is a justified response to the ongoing marginalization we face in Nigeria. Our participation echoes the collective cry for justice, for recognition, and for independence. Resilience amidst adversity. Yet we cannot overlook the suffering endured by our people. The ongoing violence perpetrated against Biafrans, especially Christians, serves as a grim reminder of the urgent need for self-determination. As Prime Minister Ekpa stated, the importance of these discussions cannot be overstated as we seek international support against the oppressive policies of the Nigerian government. Our struggle is not just for ourselves, it is for the generations to come, for a future free from the shackles of oppression. The Biafra Liberation Forces have bravely stood up against this tyranny, declaring the barbarians are receiving it very hot. Their valor in the face of overwhelming odds is a testament to the fighting spirit that lives within us all. Prime Minister Ekpa's declaration that the Biafra Defense Forces will sink the zoo serves as a rallying cry for all Biafrans, reminding us that our fight for freedom is both just and necessary. A united front for justice. The pain we experience as a community is profound, but so is our resolve. We must stand united in our quest for justice and independence. The recent launch of Biafra Coin, a cryptocurrency aimed at fostering economic self-sufficiency, marks a significant step toward reclaiming our autonomy. Prime Minister Ekpa remarked, this move toward establishing our own economic framework is crucial as we strive for independence. It is through such initiatives that we can uplift our communities, empower our people, and fortify our identity. The introduction of the Freedom Stream app will allow Biafrans to share their stories and monetize their talents, fostering a sense of pride and creativity among our ranks. A call to action. As we move forward, we must not in lose sight of the sacrifices made by those who came before us. The legacy of our ancestors who fought valiantly for our rights and freedoms compels us to continue this struggle with unwavering determination. We owe it to them and to ourselves to ensure that their dreams of a free and independent Biafra are realized. Every Biafran must recognize the importance of participating in this self-referendum. This is not just a vote. It is a powerful statement against the systemic oppression that has plagued our people for far too long. As Prime Minister Ekpa stated, our advocacy is vital in ensuring that the world understands the injustices faced by Biafrans and we will continue to fight for recognition and support. Together we rise. In unity, there is strength. Be our friends across the globe, must come together to amplify our voices and share our experiences. The heart-wrenching stories of suffering, loss and resilience must reach the ears of the international community. We must show the world the brutality endured by our people and the urgent need for our independence. The Minister of Religious Freedom and Monitoring poignantly noted 
Biafra is the land of innovations, and we are proud of the work being done by our defense forces and resistance fighters. This pride in our heritage and our ongoing struggle is the very foundation upon which we will build our future. Conclusion, a vision for the future. As we conclude this broadcast, let us reflect on the path ahead. The road to independence is fraught with challenges, but it is a path we must walk together. The Biafra Republic government in exile stands firmly committed to advocating for our rights and securing a better future for all Biafrans. Prime Minister Ekpa encapsulated our collective resolve when he stated, Biafrans are doing the right thing by participating in this self-referendum, which is a justified response to the ongoing marginalization we face in Nigeria. This is our moment to stand up, to be counted, and to affirm our identity as a proud and resilient people. Let us carry the torch of hope and justice for our fallen heroes, for those who have suffered at the hands of injustice and for the generations yet unborn. Together, we will rise and together we will forge the future that our people so desperately deserve. Stay safe, stay united and remain proud to be Biafra. The dream of a free and independent Biafra is within our reach and together we will make it a reality. So my people now don't hear a more bego we are going straight to the comment section now we'll make everybody here waiting. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to listen to what some people think concerning this uh, very particular issue. At uh, M4, who said uh, freedom for Biafran, I would love the leader, Mazenam the Kano. And uh, Esther, on one, who said uh, thank you so much, our media team, everybody is doing well. And at uh, Dick, Dick Sono, okay, Dickson uh, Melody said uh, Biafra Express News, kudos to everybody and kudos to the media team. Uh, but Rueni in Kizu now, La Biafra said a great thanks for promoting Biafra cause and quest for freedom and independence. Mwoke Oma Dalo, Mwoke Mado, one you are doing a very great job according to this, our brother here. And uh, Chine Nye Jacob said, My best channel so far in terms of Biafra news, Chai, one Ibon and PCC. And that user Modik said, Good night and good morning also. And uh, at our Esther, on one two again, uh, Biafra we move 5 25 p.m. <laughs> well, I know the finish. Uh, and uh, Ulisa Golden Mark said, uh, A great and wonderful channel. Mother Abuchi said, Biafra is my country. No going back. Uh, but Renu in Kizu, Nala Biafra said, Biafra first son. Yuza Modik, good job. Ndu Kwe Samuel said, uh, Happy love and happy heart. And uh, according to Chine Doko, you said, Artificial intelligence at work, but needs more work. Forty percent. <laughs> well, I know they finish it. Anyway, at a uh, three bag, uh, three, three, triple bag, said uh, waste of time and resources. Are you serious? Anyway, uh, where you have uh, in, I mean, in the midst of twelve disciples, there must always be a Judas is carrot. <laughs> Chai or Sanubua who do us like this. Anyway, my people, now here we go take back break. I beg, make on a complete the remaining one at the comment section. Help me like, share, comment, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Siri Man. I'm Andy Anna Eze, always reporting live from the platform of Okuta Daily Talk, where we always speak to you the undiluted truth. So, make on a just hold this one. I am coming back again. TGIF, thank God, it's Friday. Make on a enjoy. I'll be right back.